Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chao Phraya River, just outside Bangkok. Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. One year ago, promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft in Dumbo, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They firmly believe that Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. Cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, ICA is anything but. I will leave you to prepare. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This time we're in Bangkok doing the Club 27 mission. So the equipment I've taken here is the lethal poison and the coins, not the fiber wire that you saw there. Welcome to Bangkok 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite but has yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's Suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I'm sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. The age when rock stars die. Good luck, 47. So there are three different strategies that you can run on this level, and it all depends on your starting location and whether you watch that cutscene or not. So we have watched the cutscene and we've started on the pier. So the first one is that we're going to move over here. If we hadn't watched the cutscene, you can actually beat Morgan to the plate and poison him. And I'll show you that run through after we've done this one. But because we didn't beat him there, we're going to go up the stairs, round to the right, and we're going to hide behind this chair. Once we're here, we're going to wait for Ken Morgan to walk across the bottom, and we're going to shoot this light fitting out, and it's going to fall down for an accidental kill. So what we're looking for here is when he gets near to the grey line with the stairs on it, so he's approaching it now, and now, but I missed, so <laughs> try again and we managed to get it the second time. These things happen, but you have plenty of time to adjust. So make sure your gun's away, and we're going to run across the front of the bar area. And we're going to turn left and up the stairs. Up again, and then we're going to look across and see this room here, 205, that's actually Agent 47's room. So in the final run through, we're going to start in there. But for now, we're going to carry on with this one. So shoot out the camera above you, and move out onto the roof. Two shots into that side partition, it removes the enforcer tag on these two guys and they run away in fear. So it gives you a clear run across the roof. We're going to come into this building and just stay on the right. Grab the pull ball, this is really important, it's so useful. So the guard here, we're going to wait for him just to sit down underneath the camera and shoot the camera out. And what that will do, that will scare him and he will go and run to the guards, which removes him from being able to see you. Hide up against this wall and we're waiting for a couple of things. Firstly, the guy who's by the TV needs to be looking at the TV. And you can see the room adjacent to them. There is a man on the balcony. And what he's going to do, he's just started walking back. And once he goes back turned to you and they're watching the TV, run through, throw the pool ball at him and then shut these doors. Pick the pool ball up. Pool ball is really important for this mission. I use it for everything. Um, and then drag this guy out of the way. Nobody comes in this room, but it's good practice just to tuck him away out of the way. So out onto the balcony. And we're going to shimmy over to the drain pipe and go up it. You can go past that guy without knocking him out, but it just makes it easier later. Let's 
good preparation for the escape. So we're just going to check that there's no one looking in this room and we're going to go straight to this bathroom, switch to your coin, and we're going to get dispose of these two guys to our left. So you can see here we've got an amplifier and a guitar case. I'm going to just ping the first coin off the guitar case and you'll see these two guys will get question marks over their head. It's key to watch the man in the white t-shirt on the left here. So he turns around, but then he turns back towards you, but then he turns away again. So when he turns away again, go over, throw the pool ball at the guy, and then just gra drag him off. Pick the pool ball up again, remember to bring the body with you, and just drag him back into the bathroom behind you where you came from. So there is a... Um, wardrobe in here that you can put him in but nobody checks the bathroom anymore so it's fine and we're just literally going to repeat that process this time I bounce it off the amplifier just so the coins a bit further away gives me a bit more time to make sure the shots clean and again you can throw the pool ball at his head pick up all the stuff your coins your pool ball and we're going to drag him back into the bathroom again Now this sets us up for the shot on Jordan Cross. And now is a great time to save because what you can do from here, you can run through all the different challenges. So you can use the poison, you can use the fiber wire or the gun, and you can tick all of those off by reloading from this point. So I'm just gonna shoot him on this one. Um, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna wait for him to come down the stairs, which he is now, and he's gonna come around and you'll walk into the recording booth and when he's got his back turned to you, we're going to headshot him and drag him back into that bathroom. So he comes around to the left. Just make sure you're nicely hidden, and then when he comes around, shot to the back of the head. Go and grab him Both targets down. Now and drag him away. So that first bit was straightforward for Ken Morgan. This bit's fairly straightforward if you take your time and make sure that you're clear of the guards. And then just put your gun away, leave everyone there in the pile, and we're gonna go out the way we came in. We go out on the balcony, over the side, round to the right, and we're gonna go down the drain pipe once again. Tip not to slide down because sometimes you go too far and you have to climb back up, but it's up to you. Now, this bit requires a bit of patience. So we're going to shimmy up against this wall, we're going to open the doors. And again, we're looking for two things. We're looking for the guy at the TV, and then there's a guy out on the balcony to your right on the concourse. So as soon as the guy with the lanyard on that we can see, puts his drink down, we can get ready to move. There we go, he's putting his drink down, we're ready to go. Just check where the other guy is outside and go as close to the right as you can. He'll start to think he sees you, but you should get through there, no problem. The next step is to go back out onto the roof. There's, either, there's normally a guard on here or the gardener, depending how long it's taking you to do that bit. So here I've got a gardener, so I'm going to run over to the other side. He thinks he's seen me, but I'm just going to toss a coin over the other side and that'll distract him. We can then run through and just exit the way we came in, straight back down onto the pier and it's all good. The guard to your left there, he doesn't spot you, he doesn't ever look back unless you make a noise. And then, yeah, we're just going to follow the stairs down, back down, and down again. And this brings us out into the atrium of what is quite an amazing hotel. With the butterflies flying around inside, it's really cool. And yeah, so we're going to keep running down, past reception, down the purple carpet, and you can see the exit in front of you. Hello, sir. So this was the run through if you have watched the cutscene and we're going to do the run through next for skipping the cutscene. So 
47 rides off on the boat into the sunset. And confirmation of Silent Assassin. Suit only 7 minutes 30. So same setup as before, but this time we're just going to be skipping the cutscene now. So keep pressing skip whilst it's loading, just so you get it right away. So before she started to, to do the proper intro, we'll skip that and we'll run through. Welcome and what you'll notice is that Ken Morgan hasn't started moving. If you watch the cutscene, he's already halfway through by now, but he's not started moving yet and we can get right around here in front of him. So into the reception, round to the right, and we're going to get to where the plates are. So we're looking for the one here with the red bottles next to it. Just make sure you poison the right one. Make sure the chef's not looking. He's never caught me doing it, but just make sure anyway. Um, the rest of the map is now the same. The way we kill Jordan Cross is the same as the previous run. But we'll just wait here and just watch Ken Morgan. So as long as you've skipped that cutscene, you should have plenty of time to get in before Ken does and put the poison in the meal. And yeah, you can just watch him enjoy his last meal. Hmm. This smells terrific. Do you mind if I... Not at all, sir, but George Scallop Sarrant of Lemongrass Mint and Cheese. It's delicious. And that's that. Nice easy kill. And then, yep, we just carry on straight up from where we are up to the right, and then we're following the same route as we did before for Jordan. So for this room, we're going to change our starting location to 47 Suite. And we're also going to swap out our gear. So the first thing is go to the Explosives tab and take the Explosive Golf Ball or Baseball if you have it. Then we're going to swap the coins out. If you go to Tools, then go to the Electronic Key Hacker. And we'll start the mission. And again, like before, just skip this cutscene. So keep tapping skip and you'll see that we skip the intro bit and just like the Jordan cross kill we're going to run straight across here so get to the door open up have a shot at the camera double shot in that partition get your gun away and run across to the side run through here don't worry about the pool ball this time and what we're going to do is take the camera out we're going to go to this door on the left. So you can see on the mini-map that Jordan is just above us right now. So switch to the golf ball. And what we're going to do, we're going to aim for this stripey bit here under where he's standing. For some reason, that explodes through the floor and we'll kill him. Target down. Next so on the way back, just be wary that the guard will be there. Got lucky there, we can sweep around behind him, so that's great. Out we go. You should be able to avoid suspicion there without any problem, really. And we'll go around the corner. Down those first two sets of stairs and around to the right. And what we'll do is we'll go around to the purple chair, where we were before for the kill of Ken Morgan. And we're just going to repeat that. We're going to wait for him to come under this lamp, shoot it down, and then that'll be him done. So again, we're just going to wait for him to move and be in, roughly in line with the stairs on your map. So he's in motion now. And looking across, we can see he's just near the bottom now and shoot it out and there he goes. Make sure you put your gun away again and that's it. We're just going to run out. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Down the purple carpet, out onto the duck and then into your boat and off into the sunset once again. So my best time for this is two minutes and two. So we've just gone over it a little bit now. I think it's gonna be two minutes and six. But it's a nice clean run through and it's a good bit of fun to explode them through the floor. So the cutscene will play out. 
and that's three different ways to finish the Bangkok mission depending on how far you've progressed already. And so at the minute I'm 316th in the world for that run. Which I'm really pleased with. It's like the top 0 point something percent, which is amazing. Um, if we just check the leaderboards, you can see the times that people have done it in. It's like near a minute. So to break the top 100, I need to knock about 40 seconds off the time for that mission. So I can't see myself getting into the top 100 anytime soon. <laughs> but thank you so much everyone for watching i've i'm blown away by your support and 84 subs is way more than i expected so thank you so much until next time bye